Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Sevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Sevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! The nine hells! Open the gates! Roach. Provoke the blade and suffer its sting. That was the last of them. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Open the gate. There are children here, you fool. We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too. Unbelievable. Pull your claws in, under elf. Show some respect. This man saved your pathetic life. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward! The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. That's... that, I suppose. The goblins have found us. No doubt the beast will be back. We need to pack up and leave. Immediately! You knocked Aradin clean out. And you helped drive the goblins back. Thank you. I've always suspected Drow weren't nearly so heartless as surface folk believe. Thank you for providing the proof. I'm Zevlor. And you're... You'll find him in camp. What do you want with him? You'll find him in the caves, but I warn you not to start trouble. There's already enough going. Whatever your business here, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This latest attack will only strengthen their resolve. You're wounded. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. Thank you again for your help out there. We're raised to fear the drow, but you've earned your place here. I'll make sure everyone here knows that. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Terrell. Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Elterel fell into Avernus. These days my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. The camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh, you're twitching something fierce, love. And your eyes, you look like you don't know the meaning of the word sleep. Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Oh, nothing as fancy as we that. We know these people. But I come from a long line of women of with a dab hand at such things. Over us. Aha! You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Oh, stop with the sweet talk. Here, take the end of the bat, just in case. I'm sorry to go on about it, but are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. 
the wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Something doesn't add up about this one. Don't tell her anything. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? Then let all down the ethel have a look at you. First things first. Tell me what's at you. Oh, Petal, that's how it starts, you know. Thinking is only a step away from doing. Were you hurt recently? An accident of some sort? That could explain things. Oh, you cheeky pup! might scare someone else. But I know what naughty boys need. A bit of love and care. If I was back in my tea house, I'd make you a cuppa and tell you to put your feet up. Alas, here I can only tell you to be kind to yourself, Petal. And encourage you to browse my bits and pieces, of course. Let me know if anything catches your eye. Myself included. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way! She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Your mind wonders. If the crossbow bolt shot through her mouth, would she taste the metal before she died? Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tiefling. If you ever had it to begin with. Doesn't even matter if you kill me. I'm chosen by the absolute I am. I'm blessed. Here it comes, you little beast. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Lower. You saw another gift. Where? On the road, to Baldur's Gate, N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly, straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. Up. You can keep your innards. Oh, you're not going to eviscerate him. I was hoping for a show. Cool your blood. I'll indulge you soon enough. The locals prove compliant. A useful trait. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Chuh. A thin shell requires little to crack it. I will apply more pressure should the situation demand. The tea sling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. The Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. I am unfamiliar with the... well... I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this... Fey run. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. Do it! 
it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Ignore him, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your s- The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers, racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. You saw her then. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. I'd be a fool if it didn't. I know the stories, doomed to shed my skin, become a Lithid, and there's no coming back. But I haven't sprouted any tentacles. Least not yet, thank Baldurin. Could just be good luck. But sooner or later, it's bound to run out. Hmm. He stares right past you, as if you're invisible. Or boring. You see nothing out of the ordinary. When you turn back, there's no trace of the child. Oh! Hey! You're one of those drow, right? I heard stories about you. How you all live underground and steal kids away. Oh. Okay. Um, hey, would you like to see something fun? Go on, take this ring. It's lucky. Uh, I never learned names or anything, just the tricks. Anyway, forget that. Take the ring. I want to show you how lucky it is. Weeping, bleeding hells! Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck. But since you're already holding the thing... Call it. Heads or tails? Tails it is! See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheat, too. Interested? I, uh, don't know what you mean. The hell it is. You can't do that one with rings. It has to be with bracelets, because... Oh, damn. Last chance. You want to look at my stuff or not? You realize your bag feels light. You were just robbed. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, Hellspawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Radrashem, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <laughs> Come, Magrin. Give him a chance. You, step back. We'll not tolerate drow in here. Stop! Another step, and Magrim will tear you open like a sack of grain. Keep back! Force my hand, and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Why would she allow one of them? I... I suppose so. You! Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead, but a word of warning. One wrong move and every single animal here will tear you apart. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become... Oh, I'm 
sounded like a cat being strangled. God damn it. I know. I should be packing up, but I need to finish this song. It's... it's important. Sweet, odiously sweet. The vomitous gall within churns. She sickens you. Shh, listen. Your favourite drownings will take place in shallow water. Just a slice of the ankle tendon. A sweet melody beckons you. It vibrates with magic. A harpy's charm. The suffocating yearning suddenly fades as the spell breaks. You are free. No, no. It's just a bit of water. I only want to listen. Just a little closer. Yes, everything's gonna be fine once I get there. Watching his hands, you realize he's mining opening something. Got to keep watch, but it's so bright and noisy here. Want to be back in the hideout. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. <laughs> his eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. Eyes to save me, a troll here. Forgive my surprise. It's rare to find your kind above ground. Rare and intriguing on a day already packed with intrigue. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them up close. A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. I'll make it very quick. Hand to heart. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Goblins were of a rare gem-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. A mythweaver. This man has no respect for truth. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? The truth, my friend, not a jot more or less. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious, oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglamiet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Just a moment. This man is recording my story. I am far from home. As the colorful man starts scribbling, the bear sneaks a quick look at the page. His brow furrows. Incomprehensible squiggles surround a crude sketch. A bear disemboweling a clutch of tieflings. He didn't come back, did he? His smell is gone. He's gone. Master, he left with the weaponed two legs. He said he'd be back. But I can smell them, the weaponed ones, and I cannot smell him. He's not coming back. No, the woods have gone dark. There's too many predators lately, and I was never the strong one. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? 
A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. A death viper. You have milked that poison before. A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. <laughs> no! To me! Gone? By the gods, Korka, what have you done? Bury the remains. Continue the rite. And the parents? They're just outside. This outsider will take word once I've spoken to him. We must focus on the right. A deep elf. In our grove. On this day. A sign. Or rather, a gift. Who better to understand a watchful broodmother than a beloved child of Loth? Then we agree. Preservation is not luxury. It is not zealotry. It is necessity. A viper bears her fangs defending her brood. Is it not her nature to strike at invaders? I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite has resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. The rite of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. Then I was wise to grant you entry. And you'd be wise to heed my words. I want you to provide your services to the tiefling leader. Zevlor, he's called. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Mercy on us, Sylvanus. Mercy. 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 Preventable. The sickening result of sickening beliefs. We let this happen. We let this snake replace our leader, Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin caught, perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task, stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more, sent into a world gone mad. Our need is great. I will open the treasures of this grove to you, even if the circle forbids it. Halsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. God, our field mouse. No one's more important than the patient in front of you. <laughs> there. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what? Trow. Last time I saw one of you folk, he tried to slit me open. I hope you're more agreeable. Good enough to tell there's nothing obviously wrong with you. A bit tired, maybe. But we're all a bit tired. That's a serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. Don't worry about him on the table. I'm not in the habit of killing drow. He attacked Master Halson and I in the woods, leading a pack of goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Seems so. 
Give Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. All right. Let's see what we can do. First things first. Tell me. Have you noticed anything unusual? Not just symptoms. Any strange events. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. You can't cure what you don't understand. And as much as I know about mind flayers, I can't make heads nor tails of this. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. The thing is, I've sent birds to find him. But the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Thank you. It would mean everything to the groom. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Ah, huh? you're addressing me? A humble ox. How quaint. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. I'll tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate, with or without the rest of these poor sods. Now, that's all I have to say besides and I really mean this. Move to talk. I've already heard Arabella, nine summers old, and now she'll never see another. Because of druid law. Every natural law demands I take up my sword, storm their lair, and... But no, that's what Korga wants, to prove we are exactly what she says, a threat. I won't give her the satisfaction. I'll get my people clear of this, but on our terms. Do not be so sure. Korga won't spare you either, if it comes to it. I can only hope you see that before it's too late. You have good timing. 
Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone... poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. But too bad. I earned it, fair and square. That bloody ironies. Devils just can't stand to lose. Here. Now go back to the pit that made you. <laughs>